Welcome to Six Minute English, the program where we explore an interesting topic and bring you six items of useful vocabulary. I'm Neil, and I'm Dan. Now, Dan, have you ever wanted to become invisible? Invisible? Oh, impossible to see. Of course, who hasn't? Well, how about this? Most of us think we are in fact invisible, at least some of the time. We'll be looking at the invisibility cloak illusion in this program. Fascinating. And in that phrase, we heard our first three words: invisibility, the state of being invisible. A cloak is a long piece of material worn like a coat around the shoulders. And the third word in that phrase, an illusion, is something that seems real but isn't. Okay. Question time. Which of these stories features an invisibility cloak? Is it A, The Hobbit, B, Harry Potter, or C, The Invisible Man? I know they're all connected to invisibility, but I'm going to say A, The Hobbit. Okay. We'll reveal the answer later on. Now let's hear more about this invisibility cloak illusion. What's the theory, Neil? Right. Imagine you're sitting in a crowded train.、Mm -hmm. People are busy looking at phones and books, but they're also looking at each other. They're people watching, as we call it. Yes, yes, I do that. I do it a lot, if I'm honest. So, where does the invisibility part come in? A team of scientists from Yale University did some experiments on this. Commenting on the research here is neuroscientist Dr. Catherine Loveday from Westminster University. What did the Yale team find? So this study, they asked people that they first of all did an online survey, and then they asked people after they'd sat in a canteen how much they were watching somebody and how much they thought those people were observing them. And there was always a mismatch. People always thought they were more observational than the people who were watching them. So people think they observe others more than others watch them. Everyone thinks they aren't observed very much. It's almost as if they're invisible to others, or wearing an invisibility cloak. And the difference between how much they are actually being watched and think they're being watched is what she calls a mismatch. It's the difference between two things. They're two things which don't match. In other words, it's not true that people aren't watching us, which is why the idea of having an invisibility cloak is just an illusion. This next bit is interesting. Two people were asked to wait in a room. Then they were each asked to make two lists: one, what they noticed about the other person, and two, what they thought the other person noticed about them. So, list one was always longer than list two. Not only that, but there was also an important difference in the content of the lists. Let's hear again from neuroscientist Dr. Catherine Loveday. What was the difference? When people are observing you, they're doing it in a very non-judgmental, fairly empathic way, and not actually noticing the things that you're self-conscious about. So, if, for example, you feel self-conscious about a spot on your nose or something that you're wearing, that won't be what they're noticing. It's it's a much less judgmental form of observation. Right. So, even if we're feeling self-conscious about something, that means feeling extra aware of an aspect of ourselves, maybe our appearance or our clothes. We needn't be. Yes, you don't need to feel self-conscious. People aren't being judgmental, and being judgmental means being critical. That's good news. So even though all I'm thinking about is how badly I need a haircut, the other person is probably noticing something completely different. Back to the question about the invisibility cloak. Which story is it in? I said The Hobbit, and it was in fact Harry Potter. Ugh. Not only does the garment make you impossible to see, it also protects you against magic spells. Wow, I need one of those. In The Hobbit, it's the ring that makes you invisible, and in The Invisible Man, the main character uses chemicals to achieve the same effect. Now, before we become invisible ourselves, how about we go through today's words? Marvelous. First, we had invisible, which means impossible to see. You could say that stars are invisible during the day. They're only visible at night. We also had cloak. Who would wear a cloak? Maybe a king or a monk, or maybe you, Neil.、Hmm, I'm sure I could look good in a cloak. That's a long piece of material worn over the shoulders. What about illusion? Illusions appear to be true, but they're not. It can describe an idea. You could say a politician has the illusion that everything he says is true. 
Then we had mismatch, which can refer to the difference between two things which perhaps should be similar. There's a mismatch between what Michael says and what he does. Who's Michael? Just an example. You could also say that Michael and Simone are an unlikely couple. They seem very different. They're a bit of a mismatch. What is it with you and Michael? One, he doesn't exist, and two, I think you're being judgmental. Well, I'm criticising him, so yeah, you're right, I'm being judgmental. Perhaps I should stop. It's just that... It's just that I'm in love with Simone myself and I get all nervous and self-conscious when I see her. You mean you become embarrassed about what she might think of you? You become self-conscious? I do. Even though she doesn't exist either? Well, only in my examples. Sometimes I wish I really did have an invisibility cloak. Hey, hang on, Dan. Where have you gone? Ha ha, very funny. I'm still perfectly visible. Time to go. But do visit our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube pages and, of course, our website. Goodbye for now. Bye. Bye. Six Minute English from the BBC.